What's up, pranksters? Well, the time has come. In this video, I'm gonna answer most of the questions that you guys have been asking me for the longest time. For example, why do I wear this mask? What's up with these gloves? And all that stuff. So check it out. Well, aside from the mask questions, the next popular question was, why do I wear these gloves? Why do I wear them in all my videos? Well, the thing is that when I started making videos back in 2008, I wanted to stand out from the crowd. So I figured, you know, since I'm gonna be doing instructional videos and my hands will get most of the attention, then, you know, I don't wanna be showing off my hands like that. And you know, when I look at other instructional videos and I see other people's hands, uh, they're kind of ugly and, and they creep me out. So I figured, you know, I don't wanna creep out people. I'm not saying I got horrible looking hands. You know, I feel comfortable wearing the gloves. I like wearing the gloves. And I don't know if I'll ever stop wearing the gloves when it comes to making videos. Just a heads up that, you know, the gloves are here to stay. Well, who knows for how long? Maybe, maybe, let's say, okay, here's, okay, here's the thing. Once I reach about 700,000 subscribers, I'll do a video for you guys without the gloves. What do you guys say? Let me know in the comments below. Next question. Hey Nex, why don't you use that creepy voice anymore? Well, first of all, I don't think it was creepy at all. I actually like that voice. I think it was pretty cool. I started using it back in 2008. I thought it was pretty cool. I, th I didn't think it sounded that bad, but eventually as I started making more more videos, people were complaining about it. People were saying, oh man, that voice is horrible. I don't want to hear that voice. It makes your videos more annoying. And I think that's one of the reasons why my channel didn't take off as I wanted it to, because maybe that voice held me back. Well, maybe the mask is holding me back, who knows? But as far as this, the voice, it was becoming a hassle to having to edit that voice after I had shot the video. And I just, you know, I, I don't wanna deal with it. And then at one point I was watching one of my videos on my phone and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty bad. And I know my voice isn't all that great, but that other voice was pretty, pretty bad. And I can understand why you guys didn't like it. Of course, there are some of you that do want it. And actually, some of you are asking me if I'll ever bring it back. Probably not. If I do, it won't be a full video. I know most of you didn't like it. And I really don't want to use it anymore. So, sorry for those of you that want the voice back. Well, you can always go and watch my older videos where I use that voice if you guys want to listen to it again. How did I come up with the name Next Raker? Well, honestly, I can't quite remember since it was a long time ago, but I'll tell you when I first used it, it was back in the summer of 2007. I had barely created my gamer tag for Xbox, the original Xbox on Xbox Live, and I thought the name was pretty cool. And so I first used it on Xbox Live, and I, I don't think I would ever use it again for anything else. That is until I made my first channel, which by the way, was not on YouTube. It was on a site called Meta Cafe. That's where I started posting videos initially. And that was back in 2008. It's, it's funny because a lot of you guys just don't know how to pronounce it. And the way you guys spell it out is uh, is with the C in it. And my name does not have a C in it. It's spelled Next Raker, not Next Tracker. Which I can understand why a lot of you would think it's pronounced Next Tracker, but it's actually pronounced Next Raker. So how old am I? Well, I'll let you guys do the math. I was born on January 1st, New Year's Day of 1989. And as of right now, it's 2016. All right, well, I'll let you guys know. I'm 27, for those of you that have been wanting to know. I'm 27 years old. What state do I live in? I live in Arizona. If you want to know the city where I live in, it's Phoenix. <laughs> I like this question. Am I fat? <laughs> well, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I would say no, but at one point I was. Actually, I was really chunky back then. I would say I was obese, actually. But if you go back to my older videos and, and my beginnings, I, I, w I wasn't showing that much skin or actually my body. I was just showing my hands and my arms is all you could see. And I would always wear long sleeves so you couldn't really see my arms. Up until 2014, I took it upon myself to lose a bunch of weight. It actually took me a whole year. From January 2014 to January 2015, I went on a losing streak. Well, losing weight, of course. So I started off 2014 at 260 plus pounds. And by the end of the year, I was already at 157. 
So I, w I managed to lose over 100 pounds and it's one of my two biggest individual accomplishments. The other one being creating this channel, of course. So yeah, guys, I was pretty fat, you could say. That's not for me anymore. I lost that weight for a reason and I'm not going back. Although I still eat a lot of food and I'll probably never stop eating all that junk food because man food is delicious but at the same time i love working out you know i always make up for it so yeah guys check out these before and after pictures yep that's me for a while now a lot of people have been wondering what my race is what my ethnicity is what my nationality is i never really specified and i've tried posting it on instagram twitter facebook and i've told many people what I am yet people still keep asking I don't know why it matters but if you guys want to know and to answer this question right here yes I'm Mexican 100% so you guys want to know my real name um yeah that's one of the questions that I rather not answer and just to leave you guys guessing it's a six letter name of course, you can just call me next, as most people do. Now this question is hard to answer because I've done so many pranks. I really enjoy pranking. And if you're gonna ask me what my favorite prank has been, it's, it's hard to say because there's a lot of them. Now one that will stand out was, was one of my very first successful prank videos and it, it involves a cup and a straw. So basically you make a hole on the bottom of the cup, just enough so that the straw can slide in through and that it'll be super snug and you apply grease on the bottom so nothing will leak out. And then after that you pour a drink inside, you put the lid on and you know, it'll appear like a normal drink. Of course, when someone sips on it, it will just be air. So they'll try to pull out the straw and when they do so, the cup on the bottom will start leaking all over them. That is one of those pranks that I really like doing because I don't think it was gonna work when I I was testing it out i was just messing with a cup that day and I, and I figured what if i did this what if i did that and it worked perfectly so if you guys haven't seen it click here and you'll be able to see the video as far as my most evil prank that i have done on somebody it would have to be when i was little i can't remember my age exactly but i was under 10 for sure all i can tell you guys is that i tied a piece of thread onto an elmo doll and it was a long piece of thread and I did this prank to my brother. So basically I leaned the Elmo doll on a chair and from far away, and my brother didn't know I was there, I was pulling on the thread. And from where my brother was sitting, he could see the Elmo doll actually moving. And that scared the hell out of him. And he was a kid himself, so you can only imagine uh, the most damaging prank. By that you probably mean what was the messiest prank that I have done. And, uh, and if you guys have been keeping up since my beginnings, I've always made big messes in pretty much all of my videos. And it didn't help when I was raging and throwing stuff, right? <laughs> I would actually say that when I did the ultimate shaving cream prank, I actually did two shots of that and I used up two bottles of shaving cream. It was pretty messy, guys. I'm not gonna lie. The mess was huge. I didn't really expect it to be that big, but I probably should have done a behind the scenes video of that video and you guys would have seen how messy that prank came out to be. Yes, unfortunately, I have to clean up the messes after I'm done shooting the video I gotta set everything aside and and start cleaning and it's always best to take care of the mess right away because there's cases where I have been so excited that I forget about the mess and I just head straight to the computer and start editing the video and when I try to go back and clean it up the, it's harder to get off the floors it's harder to clean off the counters because you know messes you got to take care of them right away or else they're harder to clean up later on <laughs> See, I love making videos that involve food because most of the time I will eat the food if it's still edible. Of course, sometimes the food drops on the floor and it's hard to throw it away, but sometimes I have to, I have no choice. But for the most part, yes guys, I do eat the food. Just so you guys don't think that I'm wasting food, I do eat it or else my dog eats it, but it does not go to waste. Or at least most of it doesn't go to waste. For example, the five pizza pranks, yeah, most of that pizza was eaten by me and my dog. And just a few slices that fell on the floor were thrown away. And other than that, not a lot of food is wasted when I shoot my videos. You know, there's not such thing as a perfect video. Like usually when you shoot, something always goes wrong, but along the way you have to fix it. And I actually had cuts. I've actually had burns. I spilled a lot of stuff. I've wasted stuff that didn't need to be wasted. But honestly, when it comes to shooting videos, I think the worst thing that can happen to anybody is not pressing the record button. You know, cause it's happened to me where I think I'm shooting, I'm actually, you know, I actually come out with an awesome demonstration and awesome result for a prank. And then I look at the camera and 
it's not recording. Oh man, that makes you feel really bad because you're like, oh man, I just had the perfect shot and this damn camera didn't record it. Damn, it's so disappointing. Do I have a vlogging channel? Uh, not currently, but we'll see how it goes. I might eventually do one because I got a lot of stuff to talk about. In the meantime, you can go and subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash next projects. That might actually end up being a vlogging channel at one point, or it could end up being a gaming channel, or it could end up being a behind the scenes channel. Who knows? So just go ahead and subscribe to that because eventually I'll be uploading more videos on there. Do I have any animals? Yes, I do have a couple of pets. I got a cat which i've had for almost four years and i got a dog which i actually got on halloween he's a siberian husky and my favorite animal is actually a jaguar i love those cats they're big they're strong pound for pound they're the strongest cat out there so i love those cats and if i could i would own one as a pet sadly i can't but yes, jaguars are my favorite animal. My favorite kind of food, that's a tough one because I love eating food, I love eating junk food. But I will always say that my favorite food are hot wings. I just can't get enough of them. If there was only one type of food that I could eat for the rest of my life, it would be hot wings. Even though I'm not as big as I used to, I can still put away 42 hot wings. Although after that, I would definitely hit the gym and try to burn off some of that fat. <laughs> my favorite movie. That would be The Iron Giant. If you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out because it's a really good movie. If you're a kid, it might make you cry, but if you're an adult, you'll still enjoy it. I remember when I first watched that movie, it was really awesome, and to this day, it's still my favorite movie. What's my favorite color? It's blue. What's my favorite type of music? Well, I like rock. That's all I listen to. That's all I've ever known. I enjoy listening to rock. It gets me pumped up when I'm working out. It's nice when I'm relaxing or I'm cruising in my car. That's all I listen to. My favorite rock bands are Breaking Benjamin and You Found Glory. My favorite video game would have to be the old school Mario games. I don't think those ever get old and they're just entertaining. I've been enjoying them all my life. They're really fun. My favorite sport would have to be soccer, football, depends on where you live. I enjoy playing it. I enjoy watching it. I enjoy playing it on Xbox. It's really fun. I would say I'm good at it. It's a good way to get exercise. Uh, my favorite hobby. Honestly guys, I love making videos. I would say I love working out. Not only is it fun, but it, it also relieves a lot of stress. Also, it's healthy so yes working out guys coke or pepsi well that's not hard pepsi of course on a scale of one to ten how would i rate my fans um i would say a 10 and i love that you guys leave me all a bunch of comments and i always try my best to reply to every one of you but it's it's hard when you get thousands of comments but yes guys you would get a 10 well deserved too finally i'm gonna answer the question that everybody's been asking the question everybody wants to know the answer to why do I wear this mask? Well, first of all, I want you guys to understand that this is a gimmick. This is a character right here and that I've developed it along the way. Let me start from the beginning. The first time that I ever used this mask was in a video called The Joker. What happened last night? I shot that video back in uh, the summer of 2008 and it was for a contest and um, I had my brother play The Joker I didn't actually wear the mask, I was actually the guy recording, but that's when I first originally started using this mask. Yeah, so I started off trying to be as mysterious as I could, and then later on I started developing this character right here. Now of course I've changed it as I go. For example, before I didn't use this normal voice, I used to use a masked voice. I'm just a regular Joe that does videos on YouTube. The only difference is that I wear a mask when I do them, but you guys won't believe how many requests I get for a face reveal. And I've been, I've been thinking about it, because before I've teased you guys, about revealing my face but then I went back on it just because some people couldn't wait and I had a really awesome plan to actually do a face reveal but I never got to do it those were plans that I had in 2014 two years ago now we're in 2016 I'm still wearing a mask huh well you know, I'll, I'll consider a face reveal, but I gotta set some goals for myself. For example, earlier in this video, I said I'll do a hand reveal pretty much once I get to 700,000 subscribers. I think that's a good goal, right guys? I mean, we're not that far off anyway. And at the rate we're going, I'm, I'm sure we'll get there in, in no time. So yeah, guys, I don't know. Like, what do you think? Should I do a face reveal or, or not? There's a lot of people that actually want it. And then there's a small group that don't. I always try to give the fans what they want. Except in this case, I've not done that. And I've been making videos for over eight years now and it's getting to that point where uh, I need to do something different. I was watching a video earlier from watchmojo.com and they showcased a bunch of YouTube channels where the main character doesn't show his face. I was not featured in the top 10, but I was an honorable mention. I thought it was pretty cool. Even getting an honorable mention isn't, isn't that bad, but who knows? Maybe I don't need to be on that list because maybe one day I'll show my face. 
who knows so let me know what you guys think in the comments below should I do a face reveal? And, and if I do do one, when should I do it? I should set some goals for this channel, right guys? I'll come up with some goals and in a future video, I'll let you guys know if I do decide to do a face reveal and when I'll do it. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. And if you want a part two of this video, please let me know. I wanna know if you guys have other questions for me. I know I try to answer the most popular ones and some random questions, but I know there's more questions that you guys have for me, so let me know. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos because I'll be uploading way more videos and I have a surprise for you guys before the end of the year. So keep up with me on all my social media and again, subscribe. Oh, oh, and don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching.